Welcome to episode 5 of our Anthem of the Seas cruise vlogs. In this episode we enjoy our first breakfast at the main dining room, we explore the music hall and seaplex, we spend some relaxing time in the solarium where we also get joined by some unexpected guests. Morning! Morning all. <laughs> Look what we've got, we've got a little baby elephant. Yes. <laughs> Yes, he greeted us last night, which was nice, wasn't it, Paul? He didn't, because <laughs> he can't talk, because he's made of dead horse. <laughs> ah, I do love a tail animal. We had a little boat on the first day, didn't we? We didn't show it. Anyway, it's um, day three already, isn't it? Day we've had three. a good night's sleep, and um, we've just booked, well, we didn't just book, we booked for breakfast at nine o'clock in the main dining room, because we do like to, to have a civilised breakfast once on a cruise. <laughs> We'd like to get up in time for breakfast once on the cruise, mm. what trying to say. I guess so. So the weather doesn't look so um, hot as it was yesterday, but it's dry, so that's good. We're gonna, we've just been trying to book some stuff today, haven't we, on our app and the internet, and we're not getting very good signal, so Royal Caribbean do state that their voom is the best at sea, but it's not, it's been okay. Um, it's but... the best on this ship, and I'm not sure it's the best to <laughs> say. So, um, but mostly it's been all right, hasn't it? Yeah, to upload stuff. Okay. So the first day we had a, it was a little bit sticky, but um, but no, it's mostly been okay. But in the cabin, not the best, would you say? No, and I know it sounds daft because obviously the closer to reception, I suppose, deck five, that area, it should be the best. But, I don't know where their points are. Well, do I don't we? know, but that's what I was going to say. Really, when you want it the most is when you are in your room. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah. So it's been a bit mixed. Um, but anyway, so. We want to book um, the entertainment that's on today, isn't it? There's quite a bit going Well, there's loads going on on the ship. Um, for whatever you want to do, you can just chill out and do whatever you want to do or do all the activities. Our plan today is to um, head to the solarium. We walked, walked in there yesterday, wouldn't it? And it's lovely. I might even go for a dip. And then there's three lots of different um, entertainment on later, which we'll go into more detail in a bit. So let's go and get some... Uh, uh, I bet Paul's going to have eggs Benedict. No, I'm not now. Oh, yeah. Because if I do, you'll sound predictable. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Look, it's Tuesday. Oh, we do like to be told the day, don't we, Paul and Morgan? Yes. So we're heading to the main dining room on deck four. Here we are. The American Icon Grill. Well, it might not be. It's like the, the American Icon Grill, or you go to Silk, don't you? Which is the two main dining rooms, and Silk's here. And they're both down here. Yes. Morning. Excellent. No, it wasn't. It was... <laughs> no. It was fabulous. Miss Carol is happy. Yes. <laughs> it was it was fantastic. It was brilliant. And then Wonderland. Yes, we have. Carol's birthday. Oh, wow. Tomorrow. Yeah, 55. <laughs> and she retires as well from being a nurse. Yeah, it's written her birthday on the 14th. On the last day you were Yes. They know everything. They do. Enjoy your breakfast. That was lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. So Thank you. Morning. 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 Always the two lads from the pod with us, I think. Oh, perfect. Lovely. Thank you very much. I know. Brilliant. So to start, Paul's gone for the healthy option. Chocolate donut. <laughs> Uh, it's got the low fat centre. Yeah. Like <laughs> uh, so you're going to cut it in half? <laughs> I don't see why I would need to cut it in half. <laughs> so look what's arrived. I ordered a mixed marketplace mixed bowl, didn't I? Which is, as you can see, it's got two eggs. It's got um, seasoned potatoes and some zucchini and mushrooms underneath. And I got a side order of hash brown, not hash brown, corned beef hash and 
crispy bacon. And Paul is gone for a look. Mr. Predictable. He's got his eggs benedict and he's got the same side. They're amazing. It smells awesome, doesn't it, Paul? Look at the Goonville, honey. Oh, it's good, isn't it? Eggs Benedict, for his favourite. And we've got to say... Paul's just tried the crispy bacon and he said it's just the best. Do you Paul? It's delightful. Delightful. Well, well I'm stuffed. <clears throat> that was beautiful. It was like potatoes and mushrooms and zucchini and cheese, a spinach, a bit like a fancy bubblum squeak hatch, didn't it? And I must say, this bacon here is just the best in the world, isn't it, Paul? Paul's still paring through. He's not going to give up. I'm going to leave on the spinach. Yeah. <laughs> the healthy bits. I'm going to get a rip in my shirt if I... Oh, yeah. Popeye. Mm, be careful. Yeah, so um, I think we could safely say we recommend getting up early. Well, it's only nine o'clock, isn't it? It's not really early. And come into the main dining room for some breakfast because we've been very impressed. And, and the service has been superb, hasn't it? Yeah, lovely. So around the ship as well, you'll see screens that you can access, can't you, honey? And also, you see what's for dinner. Mm. What they do with the main restaurant as well. Those starters are every day. Yeah, the classics. That's every day. Yeah, and that's every day. That's every day. And then they just had... What? So you've got four different starters. Yeah. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah. New main today. Mississippi mud pie. Ooh. Dark chocolate custard. Mmm. I think we may be coming to the main dining room for dinner later, won't we? We've just booked a, an illusionist show, haven't we? Uh, for tonight. And also there's a music in the music hall. There's a 80s. It's called 80s mixtapes, so it's all Bon Jovi and all that sort of stuff. Sort of, you know, not heavy rock. No. Rock. Yeah. Type stuff in the 80s, actually. Yeah. And uh, because there's so much going on, we've changed our bumper cars on the app. <laughs> so we're getting up first thing in the morning. Well, first thing for us, isn't it, Paul? Yeah. So 9.45, we're on the bumper cars. Yeah. Guest services, this is where we need to be, Paul. We've just got a bit of a discrepancy on our bill. Um, we had our PCR test done at Boots, and they said they were going to put recredit. And it looks like they did it for one of us, but not for the other. So we're just going to go and find out about that. Always check your onboard account on your stateroom television or the app as mistakes are far easier to rectify when you're on the ship than when you're off it. So the art on the ship is, yeah, everywhere you go there's something to walk past. Have you seen Paul walk past it? Look, it moves. Jump up and down. <laughs> It's me, look. Hello, see I'm waving. Woo! <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're never far away from a piece of art on the Anthem of the Seas. Apparently there's around 3,000 in total. The Music Hall is another great venue and can be found spread over two decks, three and four. Royal Caribbean has captured perfectly the decor in this retro music hall. And if you've ever wondered how you play billiards at sea, the tables are self-leveling. In the daytime and early evening, it's the place for quizzes and game shows. 
but at night it really comes alive, especially when resident 80s party band Coyote 80s Mixtape hits the stage. Outside the music hall is where you'll find a selection of shops, and I'm very pleased to announce that I managed to avoid them the whole cruise. Yeah, so we're going to go and have a look in the Cplex, which is on uh, deck 15. The Cplex was open from 9 in the morning until 10 at night and it's a great place to visit for all the family. The Cplex is the home of the bumper cars but there are loads of other activities too from roller skating, sports courts and gaming consoles there's even a circus school and if you're peckish you can always get a snack at the doghouse. The adult only solarium is free to use and is open from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. We had a great time relaxing in the solarium, there's fantastic views over the bow of the ship and if you're very lucky like we were, you might even get to see some dolphins. The solarium is very popular, so if you want your sunbed in a prime location, getting here early is essential. in episode 6 where we pay our first visit to the Windjammer Buffet, we find another great outside space and there's more live entertainment that you can shake a stick at. For more cruise content from Paul and Carol, watch one of these videos next.